Hi. How are you doing today? <clears throat> so today is me showing you my book haul. Um, I don't tend to buy books very often, but I did go a little bit crazy in the month of March and April. So I have, I have quite a few books, um, which have been filling up my bookshelf. Just a quick little summary of how I buy books. Uh, number one, I tend to try and not buy books. The only reason I will buy a book is if it's really new and I can't find it at my public library or I don't know anyone else who has it. So typically that's why I'll buy a book. If I do buy a book, the first place I'm going to go to is the used independent bookstore that I have down the road. That's the number one place I'll go. They're really awesome. All I have to do is like ask them, hey, do you have this book in storage? Uh, they're a really small store, but they have over 3000 books and having used books is a lot better. So a lot of the books that I have, I actually got from there. And then the other way I'll do it is I'll try and not go through Barnes and Noble. I will try and um, there are websites that are made for um, supporting your local bookstore. So I'll buy through there. If they don't have the book in that case, I'll probably try a different local bookstore that has new books. Um, they're really far away, but I will try and go there to go find the books that I want. And my last resort is Barnes and Noble or Amazon. Um, most of these books I did not get at Barnes and Noble or Amazon, but I did get quite a few. So let's kind of get into this. Oh, also, um, some of these books I've already read and will be in my next video, the April wrap up and some of these I um, plan on reading very soon. So let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna go over these books in a chronological order of when I got them. So most of these books are from like the end of February throughout March and April, obviously. I actually have a lot more books than I thought that I bought. I had to take them off the shelf because I was like, wait a minute, I also got these in April, March. So here we go. Um, first book I got was uh, from Unplugged Book Box. It was a, I don't know, I think it was like a special winter box that I got or it was for donating, part of the box donated to uh, the Texas power outage that happened, the snowstorm that happened. So I got Secrets in the Snow by Emma, Emma Hetherington. I have not read it yet. Um, I don't know if this is going to be a book that I like, but every goodbye holds the promise of a new beginning. So this was just a book that was sent um, through bo the Unplugged Book Box, so I will be getting to that one at some point. Next was also another Unplugged Book um, this was the March subscription box. It is The Conductors by Nicole Glover. It's supposed to be um, a fantasy story kind of linked uh, his historical fiction. It's supposed to be about how these um, people function through the stars, I guess. There's magic in it, and it's also related to the Underground Railroad. So I'm actually really interested in reading this one. I might put it on my May TBR, so... We'll see. Then I got Ladies Formula for Love. This is a romance. It's by Elizabeth Everett. Um, I don't know why. I actually got this one at Barnes and Noble. I just saw it and I never read romance. So I was like, sure, why not? I think I was interested in it because it's supposed to be a lady who sells like poisons and things. So I don't know. I'm interested in this one. So probably not in my May TBR, but... Then I got Vicious. So I already did a video for um, Schwab's Vicious. Um, so if you want to check that out, I'll put it somewhere, whatever those things are called up there. Um, I really did love this one. So I already read this one, but I did, I bought it at Barnes and Noble. Uh, I explained a little bit more about it in the video. So this was also a book that I bought. Then I bought Stephen King's Salem's Lot. I read this, my first ever Stephen King book, loved it. Um, I will be talking about it in my April wrap-up. 
I also got Stephen King's Later, which is supposed to be his newer novel. I thought it would be fun. So when I went to Barnes & Noble, I was like, you know what? I've never read a Stephen King. Salem's Lot was one of his originals. Later is one of his newer ones. So I was like, you know what? This will be interesting. I've heard good things about it, so I'll get to it at some point. Then I got Matt Haig's The Midnight Library. Also interested in this one. Heard good things about it. Don't really know what it's about, but I'm interested in reading it. So, yeah. The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner. This one, I know that this one deals with, like, poisons. Yeah. Hidden in the depths of the 18th century, London. A secret apothecary shop caters to an unusual kind of clientele. Women across the city whispers, whisper of a myster mysterious figure named Nella who sells well-disguised poisons to use against the oppressive men in their lives. Okay, so I think I got confused between this one and this one, but um, I don't remember why I got this one, actually. But I'll read it at some point. I do know that this one I was really interested in, and I was super happy... I was super happy when I got to the bookstore and they had it, so that's why I got it. So this one might be in my May TBR. Next, Bone Maker. This was in the April Unplugged book box. Uh, it's on the cover. I love it. So if you want to check out that video, probably put it up there if it lets me to. So I don't know. Um, it's essentially a book of necromancy and things like that. So I'm really excited to get to this one too most definitely going to be in my May TBR. So yeah, this one's by Sarah Beth Durst, the bone maker. All right, moving on. I think the rest of these books I mostly got in April. This one I got at the used bookstore down my road, The Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn. Um, I have the audiobook on hold as well. I don't think I'm gonna get to this book in May. Um, but I was very interested in reading this one. Oh, I got a, I got a bookmark from my used bookstore. The official Munchkin bookmark frames. This is cute. I didn't even know they put it in there. <laughs> I also found this one, The Synapse Sequence by Daniel Godfrey. I don't read a whole lot of science fiction, even though a lot of fantasy is, like, classified under science fiction a lot. Um, but I really don't read a lot of, like, robot stuff, so honestly, I got this one because I was like, okay, AIs, robots, technology, sure, why not? So I got that for this reason. Um, I am interested in reading it. Obviously, not as much as I would for a fantasy book, but I got it because I was like, you know what, you gotta, gotta reach out, gotta read other stuff. Then... Okay, I got the re the next books I got at that um, independent bookstore, but they sell new books. Uh, they're in Mystic, Connecticut. Um, it's a really nice little bookstore. So I went there because I really wanted to find the next book for Vicious because I loved Vicious so much. I was like, might as well get Vengeful. Now, I have a very strong feeling that I know what this book is going to be about, where it's going to be um, essentially just a story of vengeance where the little girl is going to fight back or something like that. Um, I still got it because I like the writing style, and I just kind of want to know how Schwab made a sequel to Vicious, even though Vicious felt like a good standalone as well. But yeah, very, very excited about this one. This one's definitely going to be on my May TBR. Then I got Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Moore. I don't really know how to say that name. I heard so many good things about this, and honestly, when I read, like, right here... Uh, Charles Straw said, lesbian necromancers explore a haunted gothic palace in space. I just picked it up off the shelf and I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to read this. This sounds really good. So really excited to read this one at some point. Also got it at that bookstore in Mystic, Connecticut. And the last one that I got at the bookstore in Mystic, Connecticut is Nevernight. Um, this one is a series or it's going to be a series. I wasn't entirely sure, but... I heard good things about it too, and when I read the back I was like, you know, this will probably be good. So yeah, we'll see if I like this. Uh, it's by Jay Kristoff. Never read anything by most of these authors, really. Alright, the final 
promise this is almost done. I'm trying to keep this really short, like not reading the back of anything, just kind of showing what I got. So I hope that's okay. Okay, this book, I'm currently reading it. Uh, it's actually for a book club that I am in for work. It's Urban Trauma by Mesa Akbar. So it's a nonfiction book. It's really more about um, the problems of racism. And I really am loving this term, urban trauma, and everything that's being said so far makes a lot of sense. Um, I'm on page 38, really liking it. So as you can see, there's a little dangly bookmark. So yeah, this one's nice. All right, then I got The Stand by Stephen King from my used bookstore. Uh, I just got this because I've heard so many things about The Stand, and I already read uh, Salem's Lot, so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna get The Stand. And it was there. They had, at the used bookstore, they had the uncut version, like the big, big boy. Uh, it was a hardcover, though, and I mean... I don't know why I have an affinity for books that are like just pocket sized and also used like this book has clearly been through some stuff but yeah I don't know when I'll get to this one <laughs> then I got the girl with the dragon tattoo by Stieg Larson 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 the girl with the dragon tattoo by Stieg Larson I remember watching the movie I don't remember much from it. I didn't know it was a book until I heard from someone else that it was a book, uh, apparently a series. My used bookstore had it practically new, so I was like, you know what? Let's go for it. It's like my used bookstore, when it's a paperback book, it's like two, three dollars, so I was like, yeah, let's do it. I've got Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetis. I don't really know how to say her name. Um, this one I just kind of wanted to get because I heard that it was a really beautiful story, kind of dark and sad, and, well, I love dark and sad, so I got this. Again, from my used bookstore, Practically New. Please support local <laughs> bookstores, they have really good stuff. And again, another book that's practically new from my used bookstore, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I honestly think I only got this book because I was like, this looks like fun. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. I don't think it's part of a series. I was looking through the information on it um, on Goodreads. She has another book and it said like book two, but I don't think this is part of a series. Even if it is, if I like it, I'll read the next one. So yeah, that is my, oh geez, that is my obscenely large book haul at least for me like I don't I have a budget I try not to buy often I kind of went on a rampage the past couple months um definitely gonna be budgeting myself a little bit more also because I really want to get through all these books and I don't have that much time to read I do work a full-time job so voila if there's some of those books that you read and that you're really happy to see me read please comment that below maybe I'll bump it up the list of when I'll read it and if there are books that you saw in there that you did not like and you want to give me a heads up, go for it. I'll still read it, but go for it. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please feel free to subscribe, like, comment, you know, all that YouTube stuff that helps bump this up a little bit. If you also want to support me more, I do have a Patreon and... That's basically it, really. Then I have links below as well. The general shebang that I'm terrible at doing at the end of my videos. <laughs> so, anyways, that's it for me for today. I will see you guys next time.